On the hunt for two suspects who destroyed property on the Rose Warner Hillel House early Sunday morning. So the Hillel House is a gathering spot, if you will, for Jewish students near UC. Local 12's Cassie Arsenault is live there tonight. So Cassie, what sort of damage are we talking about here? Yeah, Kyle, two men, they vandalized this area right where I'm standing right here and also this building, like you mentioned, it's where Jewish students on UC's campus gather. One of the things they did right over here, they pulled down light fixtures, several of them along this brick wall, and one student even tried to enhance green space out here with these planters. They took all the plants and the dirt out of them, threw them on the ground. They even toppled over trash cans, and students tell me these actions have heightened anxiety at a time where they already feel really unsafe. Two people caught on surveillance. You can see them grab dirt out of the planter and throw it at the Hillel house. Just the beginning of their careless and destructive actions early Sunday morning. Why would someone do this? For Millicent Houston, this is a safe space, a place she can talk about and celebrate her Jewish culture. And while this may not be anti-Semitism, it comes at a time where she feels like she's already looking over her shoulder. I think a lot of it has to do with uh, one, the conflict going on in Israel, as well as the Kanye West incident that's been happening. So kind of that mixture. My mom, when I went to college, I, had a, I have a little necklace and she was like, please, please don't show that out. You could wear it, but don't show it. It makes me sad that anybody should have to hide a piece of their identity. Rachel Kaplan, the executive director of Cincinnati Hillel, wears her Star of David earrings purposely to represent her religion. She's hopeful police will track down the two people responsible for tearing down light fixtures, toppling trash cans, and ruining their green space. And she wants them to know their actions have a far greater impact than costing the Hillel house money. What do you want them to know about their actions? that they took away a sense of security from a space for students on campus. And that's really hard to build. Now we have a, a little bit more information for you guys about what these suspects were wearing. One suspect was wearing dark clothing, but he had on red shoes with red soles. The other suspect was wearing a red, white, and either navy or black jacket with a New York Yankees cap. Live in Clifton, I'm Cassie Arsenault, Local 12 News. All right, Cassie, thank you so much. And if you know anything, you're asked to call District 5 Investigator Mike Morrissey. His number, 513-569-8582.